Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, December 1st, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you get access to our full technical analysis for all the commodities that are available on Etoro. And you also get access to our live stream and also our, our uh, signal service. So welcome. And uh, the link is down below. So we are looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have created a bullish hammer here. And that's a quite encouraging sign. So we broke down all the way down to 91.43 uh, before we started rallying. So indices were way down, 1.5%. And then um, everything technically changed. This is going to have an effect on commodities, especially, for example, oil and also on oil and gold. So I've added the 20 exponential moving average to this to this analysis because it helps basically explain better where we are finding these resistant levels. So, for example, here we found resistance at the 20 exponential, not the 50. And same here, nearly the 20 exponential. So this is the line that you should be looking for at this point. If we rally up towards this line and get rejected, then we are going to test these previous lows again. Uh, breakthrough here, we'll head towards a 50 and then beyond to these prior higher levels. And I think that we are going to see a little bit of a bounce in this market. It is at the edge of being oversold. We can see that we are turning around in most of these indicators. The stochastic has turned around and the CCI is turning flat, but the MACD is still uh, fairly bearish at this point. But I would not be surprised if we headed up towards the 92.46 level. Um, and if that breaks, we'll go to the 93.15 is the 50 moving average. And of course, there's a negative re relationship between the US dollar index and commodities, precious metals, and so on. So. Keep an eye on what happens here because it has an enormous effect on other things. So let's look at oil. So oil has started to fall. We did break these previous lows here. And we went all the way down to 44.53 before we rallied a little bit again. I think we are going to see this market going lower. Um, a good guess would be these previous highs here at 43.75. That is probably as far as this market will go. If that breaks, we have the uh, top here that will also act as uh, support. And after that, the 20 exponential moving average at 41 and then the 50 at 40.5. I don't think that we are going to see those levels. I'm. This is probably as far as this market will go. We will have buyers coming in, pressing this up. But this could coincide with uh, appreciation of the US dollar. And therefore, this will fall. It just depends on how far it will fall. This is a good guess because the US, this was the previous highs. So... Um, if we have a turnaround here, then we are heading towards these previous highs again at 46.23 and after that to 47.5 and then to 50. And 50 will most likely be where, where the price level where we'll definitely have a massive turnaround in this market because this is oil at this point and, and the demand for oil is just not there. It's not even there for this price, but we are actually pressuring this up anyway. So keep an eye for that. Um, it is possible to sell this. Um, it's very, very risky, uh, but it is possible to sell. And if you're lucky, you could break, it could break this level here and head towards the uh, 20 exponential moving average, which is a fairly good trade. Um, other than that, I would actually wait until we get towards the 20 exponential in order to buy this to the upside. So let's look at the nat gas. And as you can see, we rallied quite significantly above the 50 moving average. 
and then to uh, 2.98 and then broke down quite significantly. I think that this is a market that is going to go lower. We have been creating lower lows and the target that I'm looking at is 2.5. Um, if that breaks, uh, we'll head towards the 200 moving average, but I think 2.5 it will have another rally similar to this up towards the 20 exponential and before we break towards the 200 moving average. I have not a lot of faith in buying this market at the moment. Uh, when we get towards the 200 moving average, then we'll see whether or not this market can pull around. Um, but these technical indicators are all flat at this point. It's only the CCI that is a little bit uh, uh, bullish, but Otherwise, the other indicators are flat, and that is this pullback here is not an encouraging sign. We're still trading underneath the 50 and the 20 exponential, and at this point, we only need to break these lows of 2.79 in order to go towards 2.6 and then to 2.5. So it is mostly a sell towards the 2.5. So let's look at gold. So gold is now trading underneath the 200 moving average. So the 200 moving average has gone from being supportive, not being yeah, supportive and to becoming resistant. What you should expect if we have a rally, you should expect the 200 moving average to be actually uh, this be rejected at the 200 moving average. Um, if the US dollar index starts to appreciate then this could fall really quickly down to 1750 and after that to 1700 that is a uh, that is really very plausible at this point we'll find quite a lot of buyer at the 1700 that is roughly here uh, we can see that this is the area that we are basically going to test then um, if if that breaks then who knows? This could fall all the way down towards uh, 1500 or if, if that basically breaks. That is probably as far as this market will go, this 1500. That is roughly here where it fell uh, in March when with the, the coronavirus started. Uh, but this is not an encouraging sign for gold. 7050 is highly likely and also 7000 is also highly likely. So no interest in basically buying this. Um, and this, you just have to see how far this market goes. You know, when you find a bottom, then it's possible basically to buy it. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So good luck and thank you very much.